Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So we're here in the garage. I ordered a jointer a few weeks or so ago, actually about a week and a half ago. Uh, ordered it. It showed up within about three days, which I think is amazing. Uh, got a pretty good deal on it. It's currently on sale from the manufacturer's website. It was the cheapest place I could find it. So I ended up ordering an 8-inch uh, Q-Tech or Cut-Tech or something like this. Uh, jointer that has a, a it's not a helical it is a spiral head which is very similar to he helical but it doesn't have one long stream knife uh, it's got uh, separate individual knives and I got the 8 inch uh, with the extendable bed and then the Teflon surface I don't know if the Teflon surface is gonna make any difference or not uh, I could not find any reviews online anywhere that I looked specifically about the bed uh, in comparison to uh, the aluminum or a cast iron bed. So uh, it's behind me. We're going to unbox it and uh, we'll get on with the video. Okay, so you can see there Q Tech uh, 40180 HB CT, which is the uh, black tabletop with the high speed cutting tips not the carbide tips you can always add the carbide tips later if you want to they're not necessary really uh, unless you use it a lot from what I've done research online speaking like an authoritative source of never use it so who knows uh, we'll find out though okay so hopefully you can see it's packed very well here. Manual. I'm guessing these are probably the cutting bit blades would be my guess. So feel like a Teflon uh, frying pan. <laughs> um, so it's nice and smooth. It's a little, a little rough. All right, so uh, it looks pretty straightforward. Only a handful of parts here. Uh, the man just has to wipe everything down with WD-40 to get the shipping schmutz off of it. Uh, with this Teflon bed, it doesn't appear that there's any schmutz on it. <laughs> there's a little bit of grease right here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of WD 40 and a paper towel here. Not sure the paper towel is going to be the best choice. Might need a microfiber cloth, which I have some. Step of assembly is to put the fence guard on, sorry, the, the fence. So that's on the back of the machine. So let's move around. Uh, so this is the adjustment for, uh, I'm sorry, this is the, the knot to tighten the infeed table and this is the adjustment over here on the back side to adjust the height. So you can see it goes just like that. 
got a little bit of play in it. Interesting. It moves. Did you see that? I can move the table without moving the uh, this guy. That's very interesting. But that's okay. I'll likely always be tightening it if I'm going to do that. That's very interesting. That's un that's surprising. So I'm going to set it at a 30 second. Tighten it down. I'm going to fire it up. Fire it up. See if I can get a nice straight edge. Alright friends. Here we are. This is the cutter head on the 8 inch Q-Tech. As you can see here, this has the three cutter heads uh, on each side. And if I rotate this a little bit here, you see how they're offset a little bit, right? So this creates this, this offset cutting mechanism. It's not a helical blade, which means it would be at an angle, right? Um, but it is a spiral cut bit. So it only cuts on these edges, which creates a much finer cut. Um, and let me see if I can rotate it some more so I can show you to the end. All right, and so there's the last bit there. So uh, three per uh, side, if you want to look at it that way. Um, got some schmutz on there. I don't know how many. It says that there's 12, I'm sorry, 15 on the 8-inch here. So uh, we're going to throw some boards on it and see what happens. Now the boards I have, I want to show you, uh, I'm going to re rearrange the camera here. Um, the board here is not, it's got a, I guess a cup this way, or a cup that way, whichever way it goes. Um, and then the bottom side, uh, the other side is mostly flat, but not perfectly flat. So we'll show that to you in just a minute. So I've placed my T-square on my workbench here. You can see the workbench is mostly flat, not completely flat. It's got a little bit of play, and I don't know if you can see the gap, a little bit of light in the middle here, uh, but it's touching on the ends. So, got my, and here's the board. If I lay this down, you can see that that side is mostly flat. Uh, not a lot of light coming through. This side, however, you can see, hopefully you can see the light shining through. Uh, in the middle, it's super high in the middle. And if I rotate this one more time, you can see mostly flat. And then here, essentially end up with the opposite where it's super high in the middle. So this board is cupped. Well, in this case, it's uh, <laughs> cupped uh, since I cut it. And this actually happened shortly after I cut it. Uh, this purple heart was kiln drying and it had a lot of stress in it. And so we're going to try to flatten it with the, uh, with the jointer here. That's the whole point. All right, here we are. This is the, the jointer. This is the purple heart. I'm going to joint. I was going to say plain, but we're going to joint it. Try to get it nice and flat. It's going to be super loud, so got some air protection. Always, always use your air protection. All right, that was loud. Uh, I think the shock vac was louder than the jointer though, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, so I'm gonna bring the camera around. Uh, you can see not a lot of uh, chips over here at all, but there's some chips on this side. So we got a little bit of chip uh, schmutz, I don't know what you wanna call it there, on this side. And you can see on the little residue on the bed. The uh, Teflon bed, not so, my experience is uh, so far with one board through or two boards through. You can see how it's kind of streaky and uh, didn't really 
applied like I was expecting. So I'll have to see. Looking forward. Uh, that's the way it's going to be always. <clears throat> Can't really see my face here, but I got the two boards that I just jointed on this edge here. Uh, it's pretty smooth. I see I actually have a high spot right here, so this one needs to probably run through one more time. And then this guy, very smooth, very clean. So let's go ahead and sit it down. Wow, that thing is perfectly flat. Don't know if you can see that on the camera. This is the one that uh, had a huge cup in it. So, yeah, even that. I don't see any daylight coming through there at all. So let's, uh, here's the miracle test. And put the two boards together and hold them up to light. Wow. Absolutely no daylight through them at all. That is utterly glorious. All right. I don't know what to say other than I'm excited. This is going to be a game changer for gluing up my, uh, my cutting boards. <laughs> uh, so now I just need to figure out what is the best... Uh, Best use of this, best location for this in the garage, and we'll uh, we'll run from there. This is my unboxing and initial use of the QTEC 8-inch planer with the Teflon bed. I'm going to continue to use it clearly a lot. The results were fantastic in the first couple cuts that I did. You know, with a whopping uh, minute and a half of cleaning under my belt, I feel like I'm an expert on it already. <laughs> That's obviously a joke, but what I will tell you is super easy to use, super easy to set up. So far, I'm really impressed with the results. Uh, this Purple Heart has been the bane of my existence for a better part of a year, trying to get it straight. I just couldn't get it done with the table saw. Um, and now I have something that has two perfectly flat sides that could easily be glued together. Um, Still need to work on the other edge with the table saw. We'll figure that out. Having some issues there. I'll likely post a video about that soon. So, so far, really good. I'll do maybe a six month, 12 month, who knows, follow up on this jointer. Uh, I'm also gonna do a little bit more research on this Teflon bed. Like I said, you think you can hear that there. It's not as smooth as one would expect, or at least the one being me. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I'm going to clean up out here and call it a day. Really appreciate everyone getting this far. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. Uh, appreciate a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell. Really important these days. Catch me out on the social media. I'll be posting some pictures and whatnot about uh, this as I use it some more. And don't forget to be inspired. Thanks, everyone.